shall we? That was excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in 2662, Part 17, Slow and Moving Harmony. Today, we worked on several things. We looked at our energy diagram that we've been using to help guide us in our compositional efforts. And we were talking about how some of the these troughs originally touched the zero line. Well, it turned out those were all buffer, the interstitial transition melodies. And we went in there and we changed them all to solo vox, uh, a voice uh, feel, which uh, they sound quite cool, as a matter of fact. And then we're in the process of examining timbre further for the main sections. We've made quite a few changes. Um, as we've been going along, checking our energy diagram, we still have four main parts. Uh, we did some triplets in the fourths and eights ending lines and some timbre changes, which uh, we feel gives us an even stronger uh, build on the ending, which is one of our main wishes from the last stream. Um, and and we're, what we're doing is using chapter one where we explore timbre changes and and uh, replicating them in chapter two because they still sound good. Well, verifying they still sound good. And so we want to double check that we've used all the chapter one timbre explorations and add more to chapter two. So that's where we have been very, very busy. And uh, we've continued to use our spreadsheet line diagram and we added timbre change as an energy factor. So we start out in solo voice. Um, now I don't know why we gave that a one. It's really a zero because there you see and that immediately shows up in our diagram. Whoop, we have a nice peak. Then we went to a French horn so that's a change. Then we went back to solo vox. That's a change. Then piano. But if we stay in piano there's no change so we don't get a score. And then some places we have a timpani and French horn and so on and so forth. So we did that all the way down. And then the second thing that we started doing is, is changing the volume, especially mostly where we have oboes. Um, oboes. They're loud in the bass chords and we have to really tamp it down. And so that's this is kind of what the new energy diagram looks like at the moment. And the energy is slightly higher on the average than it was before because we've been changing things. And the more you change things back and forth, the more interest and energy you get. And so that's shown here. We're a little above two at the moment. And we still get these these sections of one, two, three, four. And uh, it's it's been intriguing. And, and we, we've used this technique where we identified a particular place. Like, why does this peak? Why is 124 and 128? Why do they have the same energy? Why aren't they a sharp peak? And, and then we realize, oh, well, uh, there's good reasons. It, it all tracks on our energy score. So what we want to do now is play for you the current version with um, the existing timbre changes. And we'll, again, turn the mic off for this and let ourselves a listen.
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening. Thank you for your time and attention, as always. We look forward to making some more timbre changes. And, for example, the root change lifting and settling themes could have their own timbre set, where the pulsing had their oboe, timpani, and horn set. The pulsing, yeah. Uh, And so that'll be fun exploring that. And, as always, keep on streaming.